Memphis. One of the most talented players in the game of basketball right now at the collegiate level. This is a guy who can create, man. He's my all-time asceticist. He's a creator. He can create easy baskets with his passing. He can create for himself with his dribble penetration. And he can create big problems for other teams. The Golden Knights are going to have to have their best defenders ready for him tonight. The Golden Knights are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second of all, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Trying to pack it inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Inside. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the outside, inside for the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. They work the perimeter. Good job defensively. They just don't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Holmes receives the ball on the dribble, gives it up. Sullivan handles the feed. He tries to knock down the three. Got it. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living the nightmare, Brad. Fed the low block. The power forward handles the pass. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Fakes the jumper. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Howard receives the pass. He pulls the trigger. Oh, yes. Job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? The ball goes out of bounds. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. He takes the shot from the baseline. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. He can't shake the pressure. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that I really it's tough to deny him the ball. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. 
Moving it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Petty is emotionally fired up. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with the Fats Al and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He shoots from outside. Holland was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Time to pick up the defense here now. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. For two, scorches the net. Yeah, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Set that screen away. He puts it in with contact and all. A high screen. The ball goes out of play. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And they come with a double team to stop it. Trying to draw the foul. Central Florida are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, right? The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. the pass in the paint they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works with the hook unbelievable look at that post position he can't get a piece of that baby gave it up number 13 with the fake tries for two I'd say a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. He'll regroup the offense. There's a double team waiting there. He pulls up with a jumper. That was a brick, man. That was an ugly, ugly look. From right in the circle, way off target. That's basic. 
He attempts the trifecta. He gets the shot to fall. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is dusty. You betcha. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. He up fakes. Stolen away. It's a fast break possibility for the bucket. Look at that time. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> There's the screen up on top. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. All right, thanks, Aaron. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it up. Off the mark. Pulls down the board. Sets a screen for his teammate. He dials long distance. Drains the shot. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He blocks the shot. And then we got a whistle and a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Stolen ball. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? On the dribble, gives it up for two. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. And a momentary look from three-point land. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Great shot. College basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. The Rutgers fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Up and inside. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Eric's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. High post screen. They work the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as well, in, fading away, impossible to block. the three ball. Oklahoma State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Tries to get the D to bite. Controlling the ball. Listen to that response. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. away with it. They're off into transition. Buried it. Look at that spacing. For the bucket. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Skip pass is picked off. With the block. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in our gear and turns it over. There was no doubt about that one. Goes to the line, shooting one. He gets it to go. There's the pick. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Up fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. Ten on the shot clock. Top of the circle. Nice shot. Come over City, I'll always really 
the gate in the offense. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They had a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. You've got that right, Brad. The Cowboys will step to the line for the first time. He makes it. Cross court. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He makes the block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. With a deep shot from outside. He drains it. Moving it around the perimeter. There's the fake. From the top of the key. He gets the bucket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Shot clock is there's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He was looking for the call and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He throws it up from downtown. He buries it. At halftime, the Cowboys are ahead by eight. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Yeah. 
Central Florida has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. Three. He buries the shot. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. For the bucket, doesn't go. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Fakes the shot. For two, can't get the shot to go. The Cowboys have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Five-second call approaching. Shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Tries the turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Tries for two. So we get another look. And he tries to spin away and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Steal. He brought the ball back down to the floor and it stripped them. Fires away. There was no doubt about that one. Puts up the tray. Knocks it down. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Now they work it around the perimeter. Nice and a shot block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Number one has got the fans roaring in a applause. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket, 
I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Oklahoma State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. They work it back to the outside. He shoots from left of the circle. Goes. Pass in the paint. Pushing that basketball. He unloads a three. You betcha. He intercepts it. Tough to pressure this kid. He's got great handle, man. And I love the way he's always looking up the court. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass. Blocked! Fast break possibility coming. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Misses them both. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He goes for three. Way off target. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Up and inside. For two, he gets the bucket to fall. Has a nice look at the basket. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Reese is trying to pump himself up right now. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way off target. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. From the top of the circle, he drills it from downtown. Got an open look if he wants it. From the top of the key, goes in. Going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. From three-point territory. Off the rim and no good. Up and in. Stolen ball. And back they come the other way. For two. He drains the shot. Look at that spacing. In the paint. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. 
Steals a pass. He puts up the three ball. Central Florida is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries for two, gets it to fall. Steals the ball. For the bucket, he gets it to fall. That's a 7-0 run. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And he'll kick it back outside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He unloads. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, they'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. The Cowboys are beginning to get that additional exposure, especially with all the recent success in the postseason. Hey, being successful isn't easy, Brad. Your program must be solid from top to bottom in order to be successful. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Clock shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. You see it time and time again. Star players make plays. And they do grab. That was another great play by that young man. He has that sense, that basketball sense, which a lot of players are missing. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Goes up for two. Nice rebound. Way to come out with the ball and push it up the court. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Moving it around the perimeter. On the inside, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. On the outside, working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, the players and coaches seem really confused around the bench area right now. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. Thanks, Aaron. If you can't miss free throws, Dick, it's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing like football special situation. You got to be able to execute there. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Gave it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect that so we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Went away from the post and goes the other way. They work the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. We're going to move it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. Ten on the shot clock. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. For two, perfectly executed. Accepts it. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? 
Great play to take that to the basket. They scored eight in a row. From three-point land, Central Florida are a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Picked off. And a momentary look from three-point land. Perfectly executed. He shoots from downtown. Questionable shot selection there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The power forward takes the feed. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. That spin move not successful, Vic. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. That's seven on answer. Dumps it in. See if they can get a good shot this trip. He tries the three. He gets it to fall. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Central Florida are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to pick on offense. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. Foul charge. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Rims out. The point guard takes the pass. Gave it up from the top of the key. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. And he'll kick it back outside. With a little baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Right now, got to focus defensively for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. The point guard gets the ball. Steals the pass.
The center with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. He lets it go. Central Florida are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He throws it up from downtown. Gets it to fall. You don't see plays like this every day. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside, outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Well, the arc looked good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Here's another look, Dick. talk it over right here and with that timeout we go to the third member of our broadcast team Aaron well Brad this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down I'm sure they're anxious and they may be a little frazzled let's see how it all works out guys thanks Aaron I look for something different here coming out of this timeout Dick I wouldn't doubt it Brad for two. Gets it to go. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Intercepted. Sullivan handles the pass. Someone's obviously excited. He's taunting the crowd. Hey, Brown, I guess he's having fun out there. The crowd obviously doesn't frighten him one bit. Kicks it out. Home receives the ball. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. It fly. Better fall quick. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Well, it's time to start fouling. They gotta stop the clock, Dick. It looks like they're gonna slow the game down by fouling, Brad. Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, can a stretch of any game is final. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their team. Second. They need a basket here to turn this into a one possession game. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Look at him trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays, and boy, do they have the momentum now. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. 
That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. the foul line makes the front end of the one and one second one is no good a less than stellar performance I'd say at the line tonight less than stellar you too nice a guy Brad they're shooting horribly from the line tonight Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. He unloads a three. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Central Florida was caught in quite a battle tonight before pulling ahead for good. This was not the expected result. This